Good morning. Good morning. Hi and welcome to our channel. This morning I am going to do a full clean with me uh, motivation video. I hope that you find motivation from it. My house is an absolute disaster and so I'm going to spend the day cleaning and so I hope it gives you some kind of motivation. Let's just get right to it. All right guys, I'm gonna start off just getting my AirPods. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm way more productive whenever I'm listening to something. I'm currently listening to the series Small Town Dicks. If you are a fan of true crime, I highly suggest. Okay, so I am starting off with my dishes. I'm just gonna put those away really quick. And if you notice, there is Bluey playing all the time in the background of my house. It really helps to distract the baby so I can get some things done. Otherwise, she will climb into the dishwasher and destroy everything that I'm cleaning as I'm cleaning it. I'm curious how many of you keep your souvenir cups and continue to use them daily. We have a ton and I really need to get rid of a lot of them. So we actually just moved into this house about four months ago or so. And I would really love to go through as much as I can through this video and also talk about things that I would like to change or upgrade. Here, I'm just cleaning off the table, putting the chairs up, you can see the baby just climbs on top of everything. So in here, I need to just add in some curtains and really that's probably all I really need to update in that room for now. Now I'm just going through all of our expired bread and wraps, throwing them all away wiping down the counter and the backsplash onto the stove. It really wasn't that messy, so I didn't need to use any kind of baking soda or heavy degreaser. I really just wiped it down. I always take off the burners to make it easier to really get in there and clean really well. those also they're a little uh, burnt on some places so I need to get in there and deep clean those but I'm not doing that in this video and now I'm just wiping off the island and for my cleaning products I just use a homemade recipe I use uh, two parts vinegar I do one part of the Young Living uh, all-purpose cleaner and then fill the rest of it with water. Occasionally I will add in maybe a lemon essential oil or something similar. Sometimes I've even put extra drops of thieves in it as well. And now I'm moving on to folding some of the laundry. And as far as this room, the built-in by the TV, I have some ideas for that space. I can't decide though if I want to just do two shelves opened up with some baskets on the bottom or if I want to do a cabinet for the bottom part and then a shelf above that. So I'm still thinking of that and I have a really nice idea for the fireplace. I was thinking of something Mediterranean so I would love to do some kind of cement type work or stucco and change the actual shape of the fireplace. Now I'm just picking up the living room, picking up all the toys, putting them away, all the fuzz and dog toys that have been chewed up, I go ahead and throw them away. Putting all of our blankets away, straightening up the couch, finishing up the little bit of laundry that I have left. 
This also is just a homemade spray that I have. It has witch hazel, which is an astringent, so it should pull out the smells. And I add in some essential oil to that and a little bit of water for that as well. And that just kind of freshens up having the dog and the kids and all the things that get on the furniture. It's just nice to, to spray something on it that's light. Here, I'm just making the bed. And I didn't change the sheets out on this day, but they, they have been changed out now to all white linens, which is what is typically on there. These were my spares. After I'm done picking up everything on the floor and really kind of cleaning everything, I go ahead and start on the floors and vacuum everything. For this room, I have some ideas. I haven't bought any furniture. The baby is still currently in there with me, so I haven't done any updated furniture just yet. And I would love to do something interesting on the, the back of that wall. And here I'm moving on to vacuuming the living area. I do the couch, the creases, all of that. And I'm curious, my husband tells me all the time that I'm a crazy person for vacuuming the tile floors. He thinks that's silly, that I should just sweep them. But this vacuum is made for both carpeted and low pile floors. So it does the job and it does it much more quicker and more efficiently than if I spent the day sweeping. So just getting the kitchen area all vacuumed. And I have to use my cordless for my rug. I don't have a pad underneath this rug, so it moves very easily. It's a pretty thin rug, and my cordless works perfect with that. These doors get so dirty with hand prints and paw prints. So I'm just cleaning that all, and our dog has actually scratched up the entire door pretty much already. Again, we've only lived here for four months. Just moving on, I'm gonna get these windows right here. And actually, I didn't do all the windows in the house on this day. Our dining room, this needs all new everything. That table is actually the table that we bought when we got married. So it is quite dated. Um, and so that is the goal. I have a whole different aesthetic that I would like to um, bring into this room. Change the whole walls. I'd like to do a board and batten design on the walls. That light fixture I did upgrade for my Kia. It was maybe $20. And again, I am using my cordless vac. This is a Bissell brand and I'm really not that happy with it. It doesn't have very good suction and gets clogged often. So I would say I probably wouldn't recommend this brand if you need heavy duty cleaning. So I'm curious if you're like me, this may be a little embarrassing, uh, if you have stairs in your house and you're cleaning the bottom floor, do you just start stacking like all the laundry and all the things that need to go up the stairs? Do you just stack them all on the stairs before you go up? It's pure laziness, but that's how I do it. I'm wondering, does anybody else? Or am I just really, really lazy? <laughs> but I think I pretty much have the whole bottom floor taken care of other than my husband's office. I know uh, he works during the day and so I don't go in there and, and move anything around and really he pretty much maintains that room so I don't really mess with it a whole lot and so I've got the master done probably could do a full wipe down of my bathroom but I did lay the baby down and so that will just wait kitchen's done and if you haven't heard me say before, there's a reason why all of our chairs are on the tables. And I'm sure that you've probably seen the baby is just, she's so bad. 
she climbs up the chairs, even the bar stools, and gets onto the tables and the bar, which bad happened to her, of course. So uh, we put all the, the chairs on the tables too. So it's not just for decor. So anyway, I'm going to head upstairs and I'm a little upset that I didn't have my kiddos clean their rooms and clean up the upstairs yesterday, which I fully intended to, but it just didn't happen. And so I am probably going to be spending quite a bit of time up there cleaning because they are just so incredibly messy. It's unbelievable. So embarrassing. But this is like what I'm dealing with here. Boys, disgusting. The playroom. Please tell me why I have had to put this house together a million times. Just everything, just all over the place. Clothes, dirty clothes that they can't just manage after their baths to take downstairs. This is the most embarrassing room in the house. I'm actually horrified to show this. What? Why? Do they just paint their bathrooms with toothpaste? I, more dirty clothes. I can't figure it out. I can't figure out why it's like so difficult to maintain. My daughter, my nine year old, claims she never has clothes to wear to school, ever. Never has clothes. I, I wonder why. It is so frustrating. <laughs> speechless. Just so speechless. So, I am probably gonna be cleaning this area and I really was going to just wait and make them clean it all up whenever they get home from school today, but this is just too much and it needs to be clean and it needs to be like deep cleaned. And so I'm just gonna power through and get this clean and hope they maintain it for a little while. At least give me a week, give me just one week, one. That's all I'm asking, that's all I'm asking. So let's do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and put all these toys away back into their bin. For this area, I would, I mean, I'm okay with it the way that it is for now. Eventually, maybe a, a nice little couch for the kids when they get a little bit older to hang out with their friends. And you can't really see, but our media room is over to the left of the screen. I'm not going in there on this video. We don't really utilize it a whole lot right now, so it's not too bad. And of course, my son's bathroom and all the clothes. Just the bathroom. He was playing in the mud the night before this, so the tub was so disgusting. I don't think that I even showed it. And again, more toothpaste just everywhere. We need an invention for a toothpaste dispenser. I bet you there's one out there somewhere that dispenses just the right amount of toothpaste each time. I'm certain I have lost money on toothpaste with these children. Moving on to the toilet. I didn't want to spend too much time filming that because they're gross. Just wiping that down. And then while I clean the tub, you really can't see a whole lot, um, but I just use my cleaner and then rinse it off. And I don't know if you have bunk beds, but they are the bane of my existence trying to get the bed made, especially the top bunk, is torture for me. I need the zip up bedding. Now onto my girl's bathroom, which really they all use that one as well. It's not just the girls. Again, not too much time on the commode. And her bathtub is fairly clean. So 
so it didn't take as much effort as my son's. Okay, moving on to my oldest daughter's bedroom. A lot of it was just cleaning up those clothes, putting them away, hanging them up, and then making her bed. She also collects a lot of trash in her room, so I had to throw a lot of that away. The star lights that were on her bed were broken by them, so I went ahead and took them off. And now on to the little girl's room, just straightening up. They have a lot of extra pillows and blankets in there, toys on the ground, so just making their beds, putting the toys away. I would love to, on the wall where their headboard is, put a nice wallpaper on the back. Unfortunately, here in Texas, the walls are textured and so that'll take a little bit more effort. And now that everything is picked up off the floors, I'm starting to vacuum, moving that house out of the way. And again, where those doors are, that's where our media room is. We have been utilizing it for guests when they come, so there is a queen size bed in there, a large TV that we have watched movies on, and a surround sound. So there are things in there, but it doesn't really need to be straightened up at this moment. Now I'm just vacuuming all the flooring, my son's room, that carpet as well is kind of difficult to vacuum. This vacuum that I have is the Dyson Rollerball vacuum, I believe is what it's called. And it's amazing. It's a really, really good vacuum. All right. So I think we're completely done cleaning upstairs. And again, the only things that I did not really do were the baseboards and steam cleaning the floors, as well as washing the rugs in those bathrooms and all the bathrooms upstairs. The ones that are in my daughter's bathroom actually really need to be replaced. They came with us out from our home in South Carolina, so again, these bathrooms, I have not done a whole lot of upgrades or changes to them quite yet. It is coming. For my son's room, I also would really love to do a nice wooden feature wall on the side where his bed is. Finally, the baby woke up and actually I had gotten my other kiddos from school at this point, but I wanted to finish out cleaning my bathroom that I had not gotten to earlier in the day. So of course, lots of little helpers with me as I do my bathroom. And I'm curious if your husbands shave and don't rinse it down the sink like mine does, or just removes it completely so we don't clog the pipes. And for the bathtub, I take all the toys out, clean the tub really quick. And then I normally put the toys behind the tub so you don't see them. Today, I left them in the tub. And last but not least, my toilet. And I'm done. Okay, so now it's about 6.15 at night and I think officially the whole house mostly is all clean. I got my bathroom all taken care of. The only things I would say, I didn't do a full deep clean as far as doing my baseboards. I had just steamed my uh, tile and everything uh, a couple of days ago. Pretty much everything else is all done. All neat. And yes, my almost 18 month old does still sleep in my room. 
I just can't let go yet. She's my last baby, okay? Sorry. So, my room is all done. It's so nice and clean, it feels so nice. And the living room is all done. Nice and clean. For now anyway, you can see my little destroyer is working on tearing it back up again, but it looks good. And the kitchen. I have to do another load of dishes, but. And again, all the chairs are on the table because of that little one right there. But the kitchen is all clean. Our entry is so clean. Dining room. All clean. Again, I don't really mess. Woo, you don't want to see that. I don't really mess. Trash has got to go out. And so yeah, everything is all clean and I feel amazing. I mean, I don't physically feel amazing, but I feel mentally amazing. I actually got all Okay, well you're gonna track in all that grass into my new clean house. And this is why it never stays clean. Let me check back out. This is why the house never stays clean. Because it's always something going on. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. I really love to deep clean and clean everything all the time, but um, it's really tough sometimes when you have four kids to maintain it. So one of these like major cleans is necessary at least like every two weeks. So anyway, see you guys later.